Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into another video. The rank function in Google Sheets is one of the more basic and most useful functions in Google Sheets. In this video, I'll go into detail and teach you how to use this function to rank values within a data set both in an ascending order and a descending order. I'll also teach you how to use rank in a data set that might have divide by zero errors or other errors. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because I'll also give you a bonus lesson on how to use the query function as a much cleaner, easier way to sort and rank a data set. As always, we have a ton to cover, so let's dig in. Alright, so I'm inside of Google Sheets and I have a set of data here. It includes a team of agents who work any number of cases in each day. After the cases are complete, we look at the accuracy of how those cases were filed. For instance, if someone works 100 cases and they have one error, their accuracy rate is 99%. I want to rank these agents by best accuracy to worst accuracy in column E. So the first thing I need to do is type equals rank into E2. When I do that, you'll notice that the rank function is going to ask for three different parts to the argument. First, it'll ask for the value that you want to rank. So in this instance, I want to find the rank for the value in D2. The next thing it asks for is the entire data set we want to use to rank this one value. In this case, it'll be all the percentages as it pertains to accuracy for each agent. And finally, it'll ask us if we want to rank it in ascending or descending order, meaning do you want the best percentages to have the lowest rank or the highest rank. So let's use this example to go through what this would look like. So after I type equals rank with an opening parenthesis, I'm going to choose D2 as the value I want to rank and add a comma to get to the next argument. Now, since it's asking for the data set to rank my one value against, I'm going to choose D2 through D21 to select all the values that need to ultimately be ranked. Now I can add a comma to get to the next argument. Now I'm being asked if I want to rank this data set in an ascending or descending order. Since in this example I want to show the best accuracy, I want to have the best accuracy with the number 1 rank and the worst accuracy with the number 20 rank. The options in this case is to add a 1 for ascending or a 0 for descending. I want it to be descending so I'm going to add a 0. Then I'll close the formula with a closing parenthesis and hit enter. Google Sheets is telling me that 97.24% is the 8th best accuracy. Now I want to be able to drag this formula down to rank the rest of the accuracy values. I need to make one change before I can do that. Inside the formula, I need to tell Google Sheets that it needs to look at the same data set for each individual value. I'll show you what I mean. Watch what happens to the second part of the equation when I drag it down. Do you notice that in this one, it looks at D3 through D22 instead of D2 through D21? To fix that, I'm going to go back to the original formula, click on the second argument in the formula, and then press F4. This will add dollar signs, which makes the cells in the table stay the same when I drag the formula. Now when I drag this down, it'll keep the same data set for each value. You can see that by clicking on the last formula and seeing that the data set is the same data set that is used in the first formula. This is telling me that the first rank accuracy is 99.62%, and the 20th ranked accuracy is 91.87%. But let's say we wanted to show this in ascending order so that the 99.6% would be the 20th ranked, and the 91.87% would be the first ranked. That's simple, I just need to change the formula and then drag it down again. In the first formula, I need to change the 0 to a 1 to change it to ascending. Now I can just drag the formula down again. Now you can see that the 91.87% is the first ranked, and the 99.62% has the 20th rank. Pretty neat. There is a common issue that pops up when trying to rank a big data set, and that is the fact that you can end up with a divide by 0 errors in a large data set. That can mess up your rank function. Let's look at another example. In this example, I've got the formula in column D that calculates the accuracy percentage from the number of errors against the number of cases each agent works. You'll notice that for the folks that have zero cases and zero errors, it's not going to give me a percentage for accuracy. Instead, I get the divide by zero error. Watch what happens when I try to rank each value in the data set. So I'll type equals rank, open parentheses, and select D2 and a comma. Then I'll select the entire data set and press F4 to make this table absolute. Then add a comma and make it descending with a zero. Now I'll close the formula with the closing parentheses. Instead of getting a rank, I get the same divide by zero error, and it'll be there when I drag it down too. I need to fix this issue by adding an if statement to each column of data. First, I need to tell the accuracy column what to do if an agent has zero cases. Then I need to tell the rank column to ignore any percentage that is not above zero percent. I'll show you how to do that now. Let's first tell Google Sheets what to do if an agent hasn't worked any cases by adding an if statement. An if statement uses three arguments. 
First, you need to tell Google Sheets what to look for in cell B2. In this example, we'd be telling Google to look at whether or not B2 is greater than zero. So just behind the original equal sign, I'm going to type if with an opening parentheses and then type B2 is greater than zero. Now add a comma to get to the next argument of the statement, which is telling Google Sheets what to do if it's in fact greater than zero. So if B2 is in fact greater than zero, what do you want Google Sheets to do? In this case, we would want Google Sheets to calculate the accuracy percentage, which we are doing with the formula we had created originally in this column. So we'll go to the end of the formula and add a comma to get to the third argument in the if statement, which is telling Google Sheets what to do if B2 is not greater than zero, or in other words, in the case that the agent didn't work any cases. To make our next formula work, we're going to tell Google Sheets to put a zero if that is the case. So we'll add a zero and then close the if statement off with a closing parentheses and hit enter. Now we can drag this formula down. You'll notice that instead of the divide by zero error, those will have an accuracy percentage of zero. Now those ranks in column E should work, but I want to exclude those zeros from the rank. I can do that by adding another if statement in front of the original rank function. Let's run through that real quick. So in E1, I'll go right after the equal sign and add an if and an opening parentheses. Then I'll say that if D2 is greater than zero, rank D2 using the formula that we already have in place. Then I'll go to the end of the formula and add a comma and say that it, if it is not greater than zero, then comment that there is no data by typing that between two quotes. Now I'll close off the if statement by adding a closing parentheses and then hit enter. Now I can drag it down. There you have it. Now at the beginning of the video, I told you that I would have a bonus lesson for those who stuck around. I haven't forgot about that. The last thing I want to do is show you how to set up a query formula that will sort any data set automatically based on the parameters that you set up. For instance, I want to take the data that I have on this sheet and make Google Sheets sort it from highest to lowest accuracy automatically over on this sheet. I can do that by using a query formula. So I have a blank sheet over here. I'm going to set up a formula in A1 that will bring all the data over here and sort it from highest accuracy to lowest accuracy. I'll do that by typing equals query with an opening parentheses. The first thing Google Sheets asks for is what data you want to bring over. So I'm going to go over to the previous sheet and tell Google Sheets to bring over everything from A1 to D21. Now I'll add a comma. Now it's asking me to select what columns I want to bring over. I'm just going to tell Sheets to bring everything by adding an opening quote and typing select star, which means select everything. Then I'm going to add a space and type in all caps the word order by and then a D for column D, which is the accuracy column and then type in all caps DESC for descending. Then I'll add a closing quote and a comma. Now Sheets is asking if there is a header in your data set. I'm going to put one which indicates one row of headers. Now I can close it off with a closing parentheses. There you have it. If you wanted to, you could change this to ascending instead of descending by changing the DESC to ASC in the formula. I could also order this by the amount of cases worked by changing the column from D to B.